Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lindsay Homilda, your program host for today's virtual event. On behalf of Fiat University, welcome to the university's 75th founding anniversary celebration. Life has not been very easy for us during this time of the pandemic. At various levels of our lives, we have embraced challenges at varying degrees. Nevertheless, there is still a smile on our faces and joy in our hearts because there are multiple reasons to be grateful. Like today, we celebrate in Thanksgiving as we remember the birth of Fiat University 75 years ago. 75 years! Yes, what a feat! We are celebrating seven decades and a half of Fiat University tradition of excellence, the unique brand of education that this prestigious university has provided thousands of students who have become successful and respected members of our society. May it inspire us all to continue to thrive in this difficult time and to become hopeful for a safer and more meaningful future. And so, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let us kick off the celebration with no other than our University President, Dr. Adolfo Jesus Argopes, for the opening remarks and foundation message. It is with pride that I greet the students and their parents, the faculty and staff, my fellow administrators, and the Fiat alumni all over the world on the occasion of the Diamond Jubilee of Fiat University, its 75th foundation anniversary. Let us take a look back at June 6, 1946, the day on which Fiat Institute of Technology was incorporated and soon after opened its doors to students in aviation, aeronautics, and engineering. There would be 400 students that year eager to recover the years lost due to the global war that had ended the year before. It is to be recalled that our founders Don Salvador and Doña Victoria envisioned Fiati as a means of providing skilled Filipino technicians and engineers to Fiati, the airline which they had revived and rebuilt the year before. Their bigger mission, however, was that Fiati would be a vehicle to educate Filipinos who would run a Philippines capable of participating in its own right in the world economy. Growth was exponential in the 40s and 50s, and Fiat Institute of Technology was recognized as a university by the Department of Education on August 10, 1959. Soon after, the young university started its marine transportation programs, initially associate degrees in nautical science. Years later, many of the captains, first officers, and engineers from these programs would earn their Bachelor of Science degrees to cap their careers. Today, our Bachelor of Science in Marine Transportation and Bachelor of Science in Marine Engineering programs are rated number one in NCR by CHED and Marina. Problems beset the country in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, many of these affecting the education sector. Even as enrollment grew to an all-time high of 45,000 with an average of 3,000 graduates per year in this three decades. By conservative estimate, there are more than 150,000 FIATI alumni in engineering, marine transportation, business, fine arts, education, and technology. Engineers and technicians in the Middle East, aeronautical engineers and aircraft maintenance technologists in the U.S., Middle East, and Singapore, and professionals of various disciplines in the U.S. and Canada. In fact, there are over 2,000 FIATI alumni in Thailand who came and studied in FIATI University in the, in, and a similar number in Indonesia. To move forward after the various negative effects of political, civil, and local disturbances, Fiat University in the early years of this century decided to focus on its core competencies of engineering, aeronautics, and marine transportation without sacrificing its gains in business and finance. These programs were enhanced and soon level 2 accreditation was obtained. SolidWorks, CAD, 
and MSC simulation softwares were incorporated into the engineering program, training for professionals was also provided for these softwares. Engineering was reoriented to railway engineering and it is anticipated that due to rapid developments in this field, thousands of railway engineering professionals will be needed not only in the Philippines and the Asian region, but also worldwide. Marine transportation was reinforced with simulation training and outcomes-based education was implemented for all the programs. To soar into the future, we are now applying with CHED to upgrade to aerospace engineering, robotics, mechatronics, artificial intelligence, and the multimedia arts, while striving to maintain the great FIATI experience for our students, even in the midst of this worldwide pandemic. By looking back and building on our own noble heritage, let us continue to move forward and together let us soar into the future. Look up, young man. Look up.